So I played Dead by Daylight a fuck ton, and well, Dead by Daylight will now become the age of five. So there has to be something big, and something big is here. Last year, we received the Silent Hill chapter, which was revolutionary for Dead by Daylight, because this was the first time we would receive a chapter from another video game franchise. All other collaborations were with movies, and now we have a video game one. This was huge in the Dead by Daylight space, and really ramped up the community hoping for another chapter like this. Then year 4 went by and all we got was Sonic the Hedgehog, the twins, and a gay killer. But recently it was announced for Resident Evil's 25th anniversary that for the 20th chapter of Dead by Daylight on Dead by Daylight's 5th anniversary, definitely not a coincidence, it will be a Resident Evil chapter. Now, this news was released around the same time when a fuck ton of stuff was coming out about Resi 8, which is also something exciting. We don't know too much about this new chapter, however, we know that it will be Resident Evil themed, and we will get a cool umbrella logo charm. Now, my personal predictions to whatever this new killer will be, is probably one of the iconic monsters, aka Mr. X or the Nemesis. First of all, we don't have any killers called the Nemesis or the Tyrant, so it would be interesting to see something like those creatures exist in the Dead by Daylight universe. Second, these monsters are iconic to the brand of Resident Evil. When you take a moment to think what kind of monsters there are in Resident Evil, you'll probably think first of the zombies, then the Nemesis or Mr. X, or both. One prediction my friend had initially was that the upcoming killer would be from the new Resident Evil game. But it's I highly doubt that, considering Dead by Daylight really loves to focus on the iconic uh, killers of a certain horror franchise. So yeah, I'm not saying it's going to be impossible that it could be the new game, but I'm saying it's pretty unlikely. So you could also rule off the chance it would be a Resi 7 killer as well. Finally, predictions on the survivor. I'd most likely say Leon from Resi 2. He's extremely iconic to the franchise, appearing in Resident Evil 2, 4, and 6 as leading characters. This does mean more options for cosmetics, but overall, if we do get something like Mr. X as a killer, it will most likely be Leon as the survivor. But there are a few other options as the survivor. Claire Redfield would be another possible pick, reappearing in a lot of the other Resi games, and would be a good pick to face off against Mr. X. However, if the Nemesis is the main killer of this new chapter, we could possibly see Jill Valentine as she is the main protagonist sent out to fight the Nemesis in Resi 3. Now this could all, they could also pull a pro gamer move and make the survivor Hunk, which would be funny as fuck if I'm going to be honest, and I would love to play as Hunk in Dead by Daylight, but I doubt we would get Hunk. One last thing, even though I did say finally, but you know, is we haven't received a map in a while. This is because, well, they're upgrading the older maps to make them more refreshed and to the new standard that Dead by Daylight maps are today. But since we're getting a Resi chapter, we're probably going to see a new map, at least, come on. So, what could this new map be? Well, a prediction of mine is Raccoon City. We've been in suburban areas and Dead by Daylight before, but not the big city. Of course, the big city could possibly ruin the Dead by Daylight feel, which is true, but the thing is, Resi 2 focuses on that environment and is definitely one of the most iconic places in Resident Evil. So, it wouldn't be half bad to see a big city environment in a Dead by Daylight map. I think it would actually be pretty cool. It would be a nice change of pace for Dead by Daylight. Another thing I want to mention is, yeah, this is a very big stretch and is highly unlikely, but when the All Kill chapter came out recently, we got a new city background for the lobby, which, could that be foreshadowing potentially? Probably not, but honestly, it's cool to think, to be, to think about. Behavior also could pull a like, Hawkins and just name it Umbrella Labs or something, but I sure hope we don't get another Hawkins Lab. This is all I have to mention for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.